there weavers, welcome back. I'm Grace with Tangled Webs Weaving and today I wanted to share a fun little project with you that I have on my loom. It's from the September-October 2021 issue of Handwoven Magazine. It's called Fishing for Compliments. This pattern is a summer winter uh, structure and it is on a plain weave uh, background and it creates little stripes of fishes. So here's a picture from the magazine of what it's supposed to look like. And I wanted to make these uh, for a friend of mine who they like to go fishing a lot. So I thought this would be fun. So I thought I'd show you how they're woven. Okay, so we've got the camera uh, set up here so that you can get a bird's eye view of the weaving. This is woven with a plain weave background in white for the weft and it is 8-2 cotton and the warp is uh, an alternating white with the color silver mist which is a kind of an off-white grayish tan color. Uh, these yarns are from Valley Yarns. And then the weft uh, pattern is made up of four different colors. Uh, each stripe of fish is one color. So you alternate the weft color for the pattern with a pick of tabby. So the first pick uh, we'll do our background tabby. And then we'll do our first pick of the pattern color, which is purple. Now the first pick is um, needs to have the tail tucked, but because there are several color changes, uh, I don't want to build up the edge over here, and I don't want to alternate uh, sides. I could do that, um, but this does kind of show up uh, if you just tuck a full width like that. It is pretty thick. Um, it would be okay, but I decided I'm going to split my weft where I join or where I'm tucking my tail. So the way that you do that is um, I have a, a needle here and I'm just going to take and pull this or, or this weft thread out back to about the point where I'm going to tuck it to. And then I'm going to untwist the plies a little bit, put that needle in between the plies to separate them, and then just keep untwisting those plies until I get them separated. All right. I'm going to take one of the plies, put it back through the shed, around that end thread, back into the same shed, and then I bring it out one thread beyond the remaining tail. And that will just make sure that I don't have uh, two half tails sticking out. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and beat that in, and then we'll do continue our pattern. working with 
two shuttles, it is important to put the shuttles, to alternate the shuttles so that you're going around the correct um, thread. So the purple uh, is going to be inactive for a moment. The white thread came out and is going around the top of the end thread. So I want that to go under my purple thread so that it captures that purple thread. Now we're going to do a few picks of the tabby to create a white line. And I'm going to carry the purple up the side for this entire row if it's not being used. Okay. So now we're going to start our fishes. Sorry, that was the wrong pick. I need to start with the purple. So you can see here that it's going over uh, most of the threads in these sections and that will make the uh, fish pattern show up. I'm just going to tie it down. So every other pick is a pattern pick.
Now I'm going to do a couple picks of, <laughs> sorry, uh, a couple picks, actually three picks of the white before I start on my uh, ending line here. So I just want to go around that purple thread to capture it and carry it up the side. Create the line for the end of the pattern. So this is the end of my use of the purple. So I'm going to go ahead and tuck the tail, doing just like I did before. Pulling back to here. Twisting to unply it, using the needle to help separate those plies. Go back in that same shed around the end and back into the shed and feed it in. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut these tails off. All right, and then finish up on this repeat. back to the, at the end of the first repeat and I am going to switch to the lavender for my next line of fish.
and twist the flies. Oh, my nail color matches this color of yarn. <laughs> that was not planned. Just a happy coincidence. Go ahead and cut these so that they are not trying to get in my other weaving. All right, so the lavender doesn't show up quite as easily. Create a couple lines of plain weave.
there we go. So I think these are really cute and uh, hopefully my friend will really like them. I thought I should demonstrate the tail tucking with the split tail um, one more time close up. So I zoomed in and we'll go ahead and do that. So you open your shed, throw your thread through, get a reasonable length tail. Take a long, thick needle. This is a tapestry, or I'm sorry, this is an upholstery uh, sewing needle. Uh, it's fairly thick, fairly heavy. It's got a pointy end on it. It's not a tapestry needle. Um, so take that and pull that thread out back at the point you want to tuck your tail to. Untwist the thread, put the needle in between the plies, and as you're untwisting, just pull that needle up, and then kind of pull it sideways. You can get your fingers in there Be sure to keep the twist down uh, below the edge where you want uh, your tail to be tucked to. If you just kind of let it travel back up, it might travel uh, up the, the thread. So put it back through the shed, around the end warp thread, back in the same shed and out past the thread where this tail is. So you can see that they cross over. Then go ahead and feed it in. You can go ahead and carefully clip those at this point. Be sure that you don't clip your warp uh, thread because that would be very bad. Right, so we're going to go ahead and put our next pick of tabby in. And you can see that that is virtually invisible. Once it's wet finished, you won't be able to see that there's a join there at all. So here is one of the towels that we wove and it ended up being uh, 21 inches wide by 27 and a quarter inches long after it was hemmed. And I think they turned out pretty good. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to receive notifications when I post new videos. And if you have any suggestions for what you'd like to see in the future, please leave me a comment. Thanks and happy weaving.